Airframe, Assembly and Rigging, Orals. What are the three axes of an airplane? Longitudinal, Lateral, and Vertical. What are the three primary flight controls of an aircraft? Elevator, Aileron, and Rudder. Name several secondary flight controls and describe their general purpose. They are high lift devices used during low speed flight, like your leading and trailing edge flaps, slats, slots, etc. Name several auxiliary flight controls and describe their general purpose. Various trim tabs that assist the pilot in moving the controls and trim the aircraft to fly hands off, such as your balance tabs, servo tabs, anti servo tabs, and spring tabs. What is a servo tab? It's an auxiliary control positioned by movement in the cockpit designed to create aerodynamic forces to assist in moving a control surface. What is a spring tab? It's an auxiliary control designed to aid in the movement of a primary control at high speed when control forces become too high. What is a balance tab? It's an auxiliary control designed to create aerodynamic forces to assist in moving a control surface. The tab is positioned by a control rod connected to a fixed surface on the same side as the horn on the tab. What are the four most common types of high lift devices? Your leading and trailing edge flaps, slats, and slots. What is the function of a vortex generator? It delays or prevents the separation of the air and the boundary layer. Describe some of the tools used to check control surface travel. A universal propeller protractor or special control surface protractor would be used. Name three mechanical methods by which flight control systems may be actuated. Cables, push-pull rods, and torque tubes. What are the most likely places for a control cable to wear or break? Where the cable passes over pulleys or through fair leads. What is a fair lead? It's a device to prevent a cable from rubbing on the aircraft structure. What information is required before a cable rigging chart can be used? The ambient temperature and cable size. What is the function of a cable tension regulator? It automatically adjusts the cable tension to compensate for expansion and contraction of the aircraft structure. Describe the function of a rotocraft collective pitch control. The collective control causes each rotor blade to change its pitch angle by the same amount thus increasing or decreasing the lift produced by the rotor.
Describe the function of a rotocraft cyclic pitch control. It tilts the main rotor disc by changing the pitch angles of each rotor blade during its cycle of rotation, which causes the helicopter to move in the direction the rotor tilts. What mechanism is most commonly used to compensate for the torque produced by the main rotor of a helicopter? The tail or anti-torque rotor. How is the amount of thrust produced by the tail rotor controlled? By actuating or moving the foot pedals. Why should control surfaces be locked when an aircraft is parked? To prevent damage from the wind.